watch and tell you, I have 10 minutes, tell me 10 minutes why it's worthwhile to invest into Intercell. I know with your origin, where you're coming from, this is a new challenge, but I think, let's see, you're flying back uh, in your hometown to your Kidnot, and you're sitting in the airplane, and there's somebody sitting next to you, and she or he is asking you, what are you doing? Oh, I'm a student working for the Kick uh, Energy. What does that mean? Be prepared to give in 10 minutes a comprehensive and a smart answer. If you're lucky, she or he is a business agent. She says, look, I'd like to come back to you. I'm approaching the end. I don't like to go uh, all as a way and the path to the end because you know what the EIT and the kick is. So I guess basically I have really said for you before the next. I think there's one thing which is invariably linked to uh, our world economy. And I think we need growth and we need sustainable growth. And we have a blue planet and we cannot afford just to grow with more material and goods. But we can brain-wise grow. So one of our big visions is that the EIT and the first three kicks does not stand up as a singular event. We really like the kicks to become a successful concept and this can be only done on a growth perspective. So the EIT and uh, the kick CEOs, they've been working together to write a so-called SIE and I think Giovanni sitting in the first row has been also supporting this strongly, a strategic innovation agenda which right now is circulating amongst the politicians and the commissioners where we describe exactly why we have to go from three kicks to go up to 10 kicks. And our vision is that to further topics, and some of them are listed up here, we are creating kicks throughout Europe. Also, what is important is to get more critical mass. And also, since the kicks are counterfinanced, 75% all along by external money because we only give seed money, if we would have in the next round of kicks, let's say two to three billion euros, and we would get a counter financing of 75%, we would invest in innovation about 12 billion euros. And this is a significant number why I feel we get critical. So I summarize, and I don't want to overtake my time. I like to thank you for coming here. I feel already in the way you are coming here, and I see also in having talked to several people last night, you understand what I'm talking about, and I guess let's form a very strong group, let's be open-minded, let's not exclude people coming from other corners into this club, and really making a change in Europe in this field, and thank you again, and I hope I will be a good chairman for you for the next couple of years. conference is now uh, inaugurated and uh, we will now reconvene uh, for the different panels. Uh, you must be now convinced about uh, the subject of the conference. Uh, you must be all excited after the keynote speech by our chairman. Uh, let me say that there are people also in the room to whom you will, might be interested in talking. The vice chairman also will be joining for the latest part of the conference under Florstrom. We have also the secretary general of the EAT Foundation, Mr. Dehem. Uh, there is also Madame Recalde, who is, you know, a very important person. Uh, but uh, since this is the last uh, moment I will be talking for the conference, uh, I will later talk for one of the panels. Uh, let me not forget uh, Caroline, Nadia, and Idiko, through our, uh, among other uh, staff members of the EIT headquarters, who have been very active in this conference. So thank you very much for organizing all this. And then now I turn to uh, Daria Tatai. I'm uh, a member of the executive uh, uh, committee of the EIT and also a member of the governing board who would uh, conduct the next part of the conference. Please, Daria.